So in this video, we will look at simple geometric applications. So for the first part of this uh, video, we are find we are trying to finding the equation of a line in space. So basically, we have three types of equation in space. So you can look at this here. Basically, there are three types of equation in space. So the first one is the parametric form. The second is the Cartesian or symmetric form. And the third or the final is the vector form. So in this video, we will look at the parametric form. So untuk video hari ini, kita akan cari the, uh, finding the equation of a line in space. So kita ada tiga bentuk. The first one is parametric form. Bentuk yang pertama. Bentuk yang kedua, Cartesian or symmetric form. Dan bentuk yang ketiga is the vector form. So, in this video, dalam video ni, kita akan tengok parametric form. So, in order to use the parametric, in order to find the equation in parametric form, nak cari persamaan dalam bentuk parametric. So, there are some information that we need. Kita ada maklumat yang kita perlu. So, the first one is the x node, y node, and z node. So, what is x node, y node, or z node? x node y node z node is the point that the line passes through so this is the first information that we need which is x node y node and z node maklumat yang kita perlu adalah x node y node and z node apa itu X node, Y node, Z node? Adalah titik di mana garis tersebut melalui dia. Passes through. The second is we need A, B and C. A, B, C is what? Is the, is the parallel vector. Macam mana nak cari parallel vector ni? From the point given, we can find the parallel vector. I will show you later in the exercise or in the example. So this is the formula. So you have to remember this formula. For the parametric equation, we have x is equals to x naught plus t times a. Then we have y is equals to y naught plus t times b. And z is equals to z naught plus t times c. So where x naught, y naught, and z naught, like I mentioned before, is the point that the line passes through. Ini x node, y node, z node adalah titik di mana garis tersebut melepasi dia. A, B, C is the vector which is parallel to the line. So nanti kita kena cari vector that parallel to the line which is the A, B, C. T kat sini adalah skala. Ada masa you nak guna T pun boleh. Ada masa soalan dia guna S. T or S is just the skala. So... Now, if you look at example one, write down the parametric equation. So now we need to write down the parametric equation of the line that passes through the point. Now we have two points. So this is the point. So for, like I mentioned before, apa yang kita perlu adalah x node, y node, and z node. In this case, kita ada dua titik. x node, y node, and z node adalah titik di mana garis tersebut melepasi. Untuk soalan ni, example 1, kita ada dua titik. You want to use the first point, also can, or the second point. You nak guna titik yang pertama pun boleh, kedua pun boleh. Why? Because garis ni, the line, passes through this both point. Dia melepasi dua titik ni. So, you nak guna titik yang pertama pun boleh, ataupun yang kedua. Let's say in this example, I choose the first point, which is, so in this case, our x node, y node and z node is equals to 2, negative 1 and 3. You can use this point. 1, 4 and negative 3. You boleh guna titik ni juga. Dalam example ni, saya guna titik ni. So next, if you want to find the uh, ni, next is we need the A, B and C. In this case, it's not given. A, B, C, what is A, B, C? Is the Parallel vector. 
dalam case ini, example ni, parallel vector ni dia tak diberi. So, kita kena carilah. Let's say, we, now we have two point. Kita ada dua titik. So, let's say, let's say I let A, coordinate of A is equals to 2, negative 1 and 3. And coordinate of B is equals to 1, 4 and negative 3. Ingat eh, this is point. R uh, point. This is the point. If you want to find the vector, that parallel. So, I try to find the vector of A, B. Ingat, why is this A, B? Negative A plus B. This one we have discussed multiple times in the class. How to find the vector from the point. So, this vector AB, vector AB ni adalah, adalah parallel vector. Adalah kita punya A, B and C. So, in this case, negative 2, negative 1 and 3 plus B, which is 1, 4 and negative 3. So, here is negative 2, positive 1, negative 3 plus 1, 4 and negative 3. From the vector of AB, I should get negative 1. 5 and negative 6. So, this is the vector of AB. And this is our A, B dan C. Inilah A, B, C kita. So, vector yang kita cari ini, dia mesti selari dengan line yang kita nak buat tu. Sebab dia melepasi dua titik ini. So, this point, so, suppose is, let's say, eh, contohnya. Kita nak cari line ni. Line ni melepasi titik A dan B. So, vektor kat sini, vektor AB ni, yang biru ni lah, let's say vektor AB, mesti dia selari dengan garis yang merah ni sebab dia garis yang sama. They must be parallel. So, AB is parallel to the line. So, inilah kita punya, this is our A, B and C. So, finally, in order to find the parametric equation, so, what is the question? Find the parametric equation. Like we mentioned before, the parametric equation, the formula is x is equals to x naught plus t times a. You can use s. Kamu boleh guna s. And then y is equals to y naught plus T times B. And finally, Z is equals to Z naught plus T times C. So, we already have the information. X naught. X naught is 2. X naught, which one? Okay. X naught is 2 plus T times A. A is negative 1. Whereas y, y not, y not is negative 1 plus t times b, b is 5. And z is equals to z not, where is z not, z not is 3 plus t times c, c is negative 6. So from here, our x is 2 minus t. Our y is negative 1 plus 5t. And our z is equal to 3 minus 6t. So, we have here. So, this is the parametric equation. <clears throat> Remember, in order to find the parametric uh, uh, parametric, in order to find the parametric equation, we need two information. One is the point that the line passes through. In example one, we have two points. So you can pick either one. And then another one is the uh, vector, parallel vector. So you have to find the vector which is parallel to the line. In this case, example one, the vector of AB is parallel to the line. So we need to find the uh, vector of AB which is parallel to the line. Now we continue to exam uh, the exercise one.
the same formula we use but now this is the different types of question still under parametric equation you can see that in exercise one find the parametric equation for the line that passes through this point p so for sure this p will be our x node y node and z node so p is our x node Okay. okay, P is our, sorry. So P will be our X node, Y node, and Z node. You ask why? Because the line passing through this point. Line yang kita nak cari ni melepasi titik P. So this P automatically will become our X node y node and z node so p ni adalah kita punya x node y node and z node and parallel to the line so now another parametric equation is given from this line we can get the parallel from this line we can get the a b and then c daripada line ni x node y node z node dah ada dah now we only want to find the a b and c from where from the given parametric equation daripada line yang ni kita boleh cari dia punya abc it's very simple abc is the coefficient of s abc ni adalah merujuk kepada parameter untuk s ni so in this case our a is negative 3 you think right the part s ni negative 3 the coefficient of s for x is negative 3 the second coefficient for s is 2 so this is 2 and the final coefficient of s is negative 2. So here is negative 2. Therefore, this is our value of a, b, and c. Tengok kat mana? Tengok kat depan s ni. Jika dia bagi t, depan t lah. This is s. So this is our a, b, and c. So finally, we can answer the question. In order to find the parametric equation, So again, if you uh, remember, the formula will be x is equals to x naught plus t times a. You can use t or s. Y is equals to y naught plus t times b. And finally, z is equals to z naught plus t times c. So x. Our x naught is 1 plus t times a. a is negative 3. y is equals to y naught, which is negative 2, plus t times b. b is positive 2. And finally, z is equals to z naught, which is 1, plus t times c. c is negative 2. So x is 1 minus 3t y is equal to negative 2 plus 2t and finally z is equal to 1 minus 2t so this is our parametric equation so for example 1 the for example 1 the x node y node and z node is given same as exercise 1 which is given but for the difference between example 1 and exercise 1 is in example 1 we need to find the parallel vector from two point from two different point we need to find the parallel vector beza dia adalah untuk example 1 ni kita kena cari parallel vector daripada titik yang diberi whereas in exercise 1 we have to identify kita kena Camkan lah, identify the parallel vector from the given line. Kali ini kita tak cari dah. Kita cuma tulis keluar saja. Daripada the parallel equation is given. Yang ni dia diberi. So, kita cuma perlu tulis keluar saja. So, there are two from this exercise or from this example. What you have to know is you need to know the how 
to find the parallel vector from the given two point. Next is how to find the parallel vector from the given equation. So, melalui example 1 and exercise 1, you kena ingat lah cara-cara nak dapatkan parallel vector daripada dua titik. Satu lagi adalah dapatkan parallel vector daripada line yang diberi. So, finally, I sum up. In order to find the parametric equation, untuk nak cari parametric equation, kita perlukan satu titik. Jika ada soalan tu ada dua titik macam example 1 tadi, you boleh pilih-pilih mana satu. Salah satulah. And then, the second information that we need is the parallel vector. In example 1, you have to find the parameter, uh, par parallel vector. In exercise 1, you have to identify. You have to find and identify lain eh. You have to find, for the first example, you have to find the par uh, par parallel vector. For exercise 1, you have to identify the parallel vector. So this is that's all for the first video where we try to find the parametric equation.